Hey everybody, Steve from Steve K's Vaping World, and I've got a little bit of a preview of a review I'm about to do on a brand spanking new product here. So hang out, and all the details are coming up right after this. So what these are are the Vapor Zeus from Vapor for Life. Um, they kind of, I guess, a play on the Titan, which was their previous big battery. These, as you can see, are kind of monstrosities of batteries. Um, 900 milliamp hours on each. I've got the cigar themed one here, which is an auto battery. Uh, you got to remember V4L is kind of more of a traditional company. This one's kind of interesting tech. This is, um, can't really see the button, the lighting sucks, so I apologize for that. Oh, there it is, a button, see? But, so, you know, you're used to that. But you click this thing five times, or five, I'm counting to myself, how to use my fingers, you couldn't see that. Okay, normally that would shut one of these things off. On this one, five clicks and you get to do this. So this is a hybrid auto manual battery, which is pretty cool. You can uh, if you can't make up your mind or something. Um, five clicks of the switch will swap it between manual, um, where it activates on the button, or automatic. Okay, as I was mentioning, the batteries. Um, first of all, they're honking huge. Okay, so here's um, a 900 milliamp Zeus. And here's just a, um, actually this is an XL510, which is what, like 200 and something milliamp, as you can see there. These are pretty big. Um, they're probably weighing in a little bit longer than an equivalent milliamp Ego. Uh, like everything else, 808 threaded. Uh, that's just V4L's thing. Kind of that nice smooth rubber coating. Um, decent solid battery. Oh yeah, USB pass-through. Cool stuff. Um, and then the other, you know, it's basically a reshaped Ego. Um, then the other half of this uh, combination would be the, the Cardos that go with that. So we'll touch on those next. So this is the, um, the Zeus Cardo. Um, obviously kind of big. Uh, made out of pretty thick metal. This part here is a squishy, a squishy rubber um, bit, which has kind of a... Um, rigid piece in the middle uh, so if you're you know, one of those folks that likes to gnaw on the, the tips of your e-cig uh, this one will work for you. I kind of find the overall size and squishy feeling a little bit funky but you know it's I guess tolerable. Filling it comes in from here so you unscrew the, the cap um, obviously it's not going to work with anything else um, and then if you look in here you can see it's basically uh, just a whole you know, center tube there and then fill it all around it so you just you know drip the liquid right in uh, pretty darn easy because it's kind of a big target I'm not sure exactly of the uh, capacity of this uh, it's definitely got to be over two mils I'm not sure if it might make the three mark but it holds quite a bit of e-liquid um, still trying I haven't cut one open yet or anything because it's so thick so I'm not sure if this is probably single I'm staring down at it right now and I can see the coil so it's a it's a horizontal coil design uh, in general it's it's not a bad card we'll talk about the performance in just a second okay real briefly um, performance this is the um, cigar auto battery I was talking about before it's got kind of that funky design although to be honest because it's this rubberized kind of slick feeling thing it doesn't quite scream cigar to me when I'm holding it but I really like, I can actually kind of hold this like I, I used to like hold a traditional stogie. In fact, I was driving the other day with this and I kind of just, you know, had this habit of kind of trying to flip the ashes on it while I was driving. Um, so it's just a good size for that. Um, so as far as performance, it's not bad. Pretty decent vapor, I'd say. Just keep in mind, this is still the preview. I like to write everything. Um, 
don't have that up on the site yet. I haven't actually started writing it. Hopefully, probably the next next week you'll see it. Um, if all the timing and you know, this thing actually shows up in the store and everything. Um, for, so just hop over to the site and check it out. Um, and there you go. Until next time, I'm Steve. Steve K's making.